Ever wonder how cheese curds are made? Well, this morning we're giving you an inside look. Lauren Quill is live at the Riverside Foods Factory in Two Rivers. Good morning, Lauren. Good morning, everyone. Take a look at all of this cheese that we have right now. We're about to show you exactly how the cheese goes down the conveyor belt, gets breaded, and then eventually we'll show you that deep fried and ready to eat. I'm here with Dave Morgan. He's the production manager and quite an operation inside here. But let's start at the top. How much cheese are you guys going to make today? When we start out, it comes in a uh, full semi load. There's 26 pallets, which comes out to about 42,640 pounds of raw cheese that we get in fresh. That's a lot of cheese. It is a lot of cheese. And, it, it, and what's cool about it, though, is it's all made right in Wisconsin. Yes, and that's something we pride ourselves on as a company is we get the most, most of our products come from the local area, from Wisconsin. That's huge for us being a family-owned company, you know, nothing better than Wisconsin cheese, I'm telling you. Right, and everybody loves cheese curds, uh, so let's go down the line sure. here, give the viewers a look. What exactly is each station doing? So let's start okay. at the top. So right now, what they're doing is, this is, we put it on a shaker table, and what we're doing is we're sorting out the smaller curds, because the smaller the curd, the harder it is to cook and get it to perform. So what we're doing is we sort out all the small stuff, so that way, when our customers get it, they have this, pretty much their natural curds, they're all around the same size, but this way we get a nice, nice even flow of the product. So that's what they're doing on that shaker table. The ladies here are picking out the small ones. They're separating, because it is a fresh curd, they kind of get stuck together a little bit. So the ladies here will be separating them. Then they go through and they go, we dip it, we call it a batter dip. But what it's doing right here is it's going down in a submerge so the, the cheese curds are going down and they're coming out and they're fully covered with this with the flavor. This is where you get the flavor on the curd, is this batter here. And then to make it a little unique, we run it through a waterfall and then it's given that nice little coating on the top and then after it passes through that batter, this is what gives you your highlights and your color is in the breading. And it passes through like a curtain of breading and that's, that's what coats the curd. So when it comes out, they're all nice and coated. They got, they're unique. They got the little edging and stuff. But now you have what we call the breaded cheese curd. It's right here. These are all breaded nice. They got the batter from the beginning all the way through the process. Now you got a breaded cheese curd. Oh, well, Dave, they look awesome. So knowledgeable. Thank you so much for giving us that inside look. Guys, check out all these cheese curds because after this, they need to be packaged and then onto your plate. Emily and Rachel and Pete, you won't believe how oh, fresh it smells in here. I with all that cheese, be jealous. We'll check in with you guys <laughs> in about an hour. All right. Thanks, Lauren.